Hey, I'm Mark Schneider, you're watching Schneider Classics, and today I'm going to give you a bit of an update. Let's grab good old camera. Yeah, first update. I shaved because uh, cowboy hat needs to go away. <laughs> really, really worn out cowboy hat. And a little bit of a sneak peek. This hat will go on for those who don't know. All right, so a bit of an update. One, I shaved because i uh, doing something for a film and uh, the only time I ever shave is when producer, producers and media companies be like, hey, we need a clean face. And I go, all right. So it's been like the last, uh, I haven't shaved in like a year and a half. So it's a little rusty on it actually. And uh, all my, I, this is TMI. I get a very pimply face. It, hide, it hides underneath the beard and everything. I went along because I used a straight razor. <laughs> Nicked every single pimple. I was like, ooh, that was not fun. But all right. Um, reason for this update because there's a lot of stuff going on, are going around in the background, and the ones who aren't being updated are only you guys. There's a lot of stuff being updated on Instagram, Instagram and Facebook, and those are always being up to date, but YouTube side of things, the video editing side of things, all this stuff is not. And that's on my part, I blame me fully because I'm working on these trucks, like as you can tell, but look, look all my tools, <laughs> this isn't set up for prop. Look, the welder's out. This is full of tools. This has a different steering column in it. This cluster has a different look, like it's almost zeroed out. There's a brand new, custom made tinted glass in the back the, the cabs on the frame there's brand new drums brand new drums and brakes and hardware all on the wheels we got new wheels coming and stuff so, like there's stuff happening i am videotaping it it's going onto the the hard drive and then sort of being forgotten that wasn't the plan because like look even dan the junkyard mini bike here even though i just blew the clutch today and broke some things that i now have to wait two weeks from order from Amazon because I need to get this thing done so I can sell it to gain more money for this stuff's happening here it's just taking a bit and there's a lot of stuff in the background uh, this machine I screwed up on this I need to make another I forget this is not seeing YouTube at all meanwhile I've made like four videos on it and they're all on the hard drive um I screwed up. The carb was backfiring on me a bit, so I had to re-clean it and tune it as I was putting it back together because it was running good. I'm like, okay, it's running good. I'll put it back together. One of the bolts slipped in and went into the carb, so I got to take it all apart again to get that little screw out of wherever it went so I don't screw it up and put it back in its proper home. Yeah, also this thing. I'm halfway through rebuilding the transmission. It really shouldn't have taken as long as it has, but that's happening. This is happening. This is happening. And then what's on my head, zombie body shop, Schneider Classics is going to SEMA this November. So if you guys want to know what's going on, as I'm allergic to stupid people, um, we are going to SEMA as well as you guys don't even know. Look, look, this truck is like, all taken apart and there's stuff happening with this and it's on the hard drive the reason i keep saying videos are on the hard drive is because videos are on the hard drive about two weeks ago i did hire someone to edit videos he's still not back to me for the first video and i still have no idea what his paying rate is we said we do one video it'd be a tester video and he has my USB and everything, my favorite USB. I need, he was a friend of mine, yeah, stuff's happening. Oh, there's the lawnmower, look, there's the one cab tipped over on its back and my engine hoist, and there's no engine in there. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff you guys don't even know about. <laughs> this truck's been moved and driven, and this thing, this thing, as you can see, I blew it up, That that was funny. The quad, the quad has been gone for about two months. Two months, holy crap. 
It's been at the dealership for about two months for parts. Uh, the only reason the quad's at the dealership is I would do the work myself, but that's paying $800 in parts and shipping and everything. Or because I was smart and I paid $500 for the warranty, it only cost me five fifty bucks for my deductible to get 800 parts. And also all the labor is covered by the warranty. Kind of sucks because I haven't seen it in two months versus where if I did it myself, it would be put together in two, three weeks. So I say, how long has this been sitting here? The car is also almost done. We've put a new window motor in it. We've done a bunch of stuff to it. New AC lines have gone in it. Uh, that was all pain. I actually didn't record any of that stuff, so that stuff won't be coming. There's been a, a bunch of stuff that hasn't been recorded that won't come to the channel. That's my fault. I'm just trying to get stuff done here. Like I said, with SEMA and stuff, you'll see me, Well, because it's just the one guy show right now, you'll see me at SEMA with, because I'm working for Zombie Body Shop. We're building a SEMA truck, which is nuts. So, and that's only, that's only three months away. Three months away, you'll see me at SEMA with the truck and if you want proof that i'm doing this and working if you check out the instagram like i said instagram's the only thing that's really been updated constantly uh also all these trees are gone we had a bunch of trees and stuff and i've been quadding and go using the trail and the mini bike and everything oh so much is being missed out it's all on the higher drive <laughs> That was supposed to go to the editor, that the editor hasn't gone back to me on my first tester video because as you can tell, I'm spending time on SEMA trucks, the 67, spending time on the one ton, my great grandfather's truck. We, the Dan, the junkyard mini bike is almost done. There's a cap here. Why is there these caps here? We got new internet. Uh, -huh. uh I'm working with a hot rod shop that's posted on, on Instagram. If you look at, I'll put it in the description below. If you look at zombie body shop on Instagram, there'll be a photo of me and the other guy I've been working on. Uh, right after I cut the frame for our SEMA build and we welded it back together. It's, it's, it's nuts. There's some crazy stuff going on that you guys will want to stay tuned for. Everything for SEMA, I will record and hopefully get on to YouTube. I don't mean to be harsh on that. I don't mean to be mean. It's just, it's time because we got, th we got three, <laughs> we have three months left to get the SEMA truck done. Um, I go back to school in a month for the start of my level two accreditation for mechanics because there's, there's, oh, because I'm trying to get my red seal because I want to be a fully certified mechanic. And there's all the hot rods going on around here. Like I, most days I come home and I'm on whatever project needs to be attended to till it's dark. I actually, today I'm a bit hard boiled because we're, we're seeing high temperatures here and heat waves. If you go and see DD Speed Shop right now, he he put out some shorts on it like we're sitting we're seeing <laughs> we're seeing some serious heat waves here and me working from dawn to dusk every morning like a good farmer boy in this heat i've fried my brain so i i need a little break we have the zozo dog you're very warm because you're centered but I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. Like we got stuff going on. Like I said, the 67, the 67 is going to see the road soon. Like this is, this is what really sucks is uh, last time I think I posted a video on it was the cab going on, I want to say. And now there's, I've done a video on the back live on the drums and everything. The windshield's being put on, put in on Wednesday. Brand new windshield's being installed Wednesday. I figured out the entire wiring harness. We have the back lights. Um, I made a complete back harness for the back. We need to figure out um, uh, to come. We're mounting the fenders and everything. Like, oh, there is so much stuff coming. We have the front fenders and everything being put on. Uh, the grill, the marker lights I still got to go get. They're at the shop. 
oh man there is <laughs> it's non-stop stuff like we got to continue taking the box off that one ton then i gotta get the frame over to get it blasted at the shop ah uh, it doesn't make sense what's going on there's so much stuff going on hot rods and everything like uh obviously i'm trying to sell stuff also as i fix it because we got to fund further projects and also i gotta i gotta figure out how i'm paying for me to get the sema i know the truck's gonna get there we got the money and everything all that's being figured out by tyler and the man the tyler the man he's an awesome dude i gotta figure out stuff on my end uh because you can work you can work and work and work but getting the seam is a different thing so please stay tuned we're trying to try and get figured out more i would love to bring on a editor like obviously i'm not made of money because I'm not, I'm not making any money out of this and we need money for the trucks so obviously i do want to bring on an editor i would love to bring on somebody to just do social media stuff someone to help film help edit help post stuff on instagram like i, I want to do the tiktok I have some ideas on how to, to do TikToks and Instagram and uh, the, the feed videos and stuff. But I don't know how that works. So that doesn't, that doesn't help me. And we're here at the end of this day, three months away from SEMA, getting the SEMA truck done. I need to get the 67. My goal is to have the 67 done pretty damn soon so we can drive that. The car... 99 cavalier convertible is almost done it's going to be going up for sale pretty soon uh then the mini bike as soon as i get the new clutch and new tensioner wheel that's going to go up for sale the tr the tractor as soon as the tractor i gotta take out that bolt now i gotta take it all apart to get the, to that bolt put the bolt back on and then it's for sale the only reason it hasn't sold is because I screwed up and got a screw stuck in there. It's been running really good. We did a bunch, when we removed all the trees, there's well, four or five big trees across here that fell down. Well, we cut down, like when we did all this stuff and I put the new internet cable in and stuff, we cut down five trees, it was last year or so. But that, that little, 74 simplicity tractor or whatever hauled it all hauled it all over to my pile and then canada day we shot some pew pews and everything so i may say there's a lot of stuff coming there's a lot of stuff to come this is just a small update like i can't even i can't even think and fathom of everything i have been doing the last four months and haven't got on film for you guys i can't even think of everything that's two come in the next three, four months and get to you guys. Like I'm possibly going to Talent Inc. in February of next year. Like there is stuff lined up to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I gotta, <laughs> I'm on set next Monday. Next Monday I'm on set. Like you guys can't even fathom. So now that you get over with all this blurriness, I'm just gonna show you the shots of all the trucks. Like even the two ton, if the two ton sells, that's gonna bring them in some money. Um, but it's nowhere near done. It's just the roller right now. I would love to get that thing done. I would love to build that thing for myself, but money has come from somewhere. So I'm just going to show a quick video of everything around, throw some music behind it and give you guys a good show. And then we'll catch you on the flip side.
this video might be a little long because this is an update and like I said I can't even put everything that's been going on into this main thing I really want to get this kit look I, I don't think I even took a little video shortcut like look this is the Jeep stuff and then there's the this isn't even all, everything I have I have like I have trucks coming and vehicles coming that aren't even here yet I got one at the <laughs> yeah one at the uh, zombie there's a truck over there I need to grab and I got to bring everything as soon as I start traveling again with a trailer and everything it's a good season I think probably next spring I want to do it I got to bring it home everything from Saskatchewan back over here so we got oh we got tons of stuff <laughs> it's it's a little ridiculous how much stuff we got coming I want to say guys like, I, I love you guys support and I love everything you've done as I can tell, we're definitely not they make our dates for the giveaways and stuff, but I do still plan on doing the giveaways. They're just on the back burner. That motor, it runs. What do I need to do to it? Uh, <laughs> like I, I do plan on doing some stuff to it for the giveaway, of course. I plan on reaching out to a couple companies and asking like, hey, let's get a brand new car for it. Hey, let's get like new exhaust to go with the motor. Hey, let's like, let's do a couple things to go with this cool little giveaway. Uh, a couple like we got stickers we got stuff and everything like it is nuts it is literally nuts what's coming like uh even look that this thing's not full of parts anymore like this was like full of all the parts from the c10 and we're slowly working through it and putting them back on getting them in the glass so much stuff there's so much stuff going coming uh i do want to say if any of you want to sponsor if there's any sponsors out there any companies as you can see we show stuff off here we we have a little bit of fun with it uh as soon as the quad comes back as soon as the, everything's broken right now story of my life as soon as everything's fixed here we'll be doing donuts and stuff again as you all you can't even tell on the by the camera oh this is uneven ground for me doing donuts back here because this is my party space doing donuts firing pew pews we got all this fun crazy stuff coming and you guys don't even know it <laughs> so if there's anybody who wants to sponsor us video sponsor the videos and do stuff then i can hire maybe i can hire a real editor a real media team and we can start blasting away on this because I just I don't have time to sit at the computer for eight hours and edit because it for one video it takes me about six hours to edit get music for it get all the everything done for it and then it takes another couple hours to get the thumbnail everything like I'm not complaining it's just I have we're going to SEMA in three months I don't have time to sit at the computer for eight hours when I got to be working on stuff after I've been eight hours at the shop working there 
getting money, working, doing jobs so we can get money for the SEMA build and then spending a whole day on the SEMA build and then coming here and working on stuff. Like, <laughs> story of every mechanic ever. It's really, really hard to film and do stuff at the same time because to be able to film and do the work makes the work twice as long. It's just, uh, it would be nice if I could just hire someone or have someone come in as a partner for the YouTube stuff or everything to be on the camera side of it, be on the editing side of it, be on the social media side of it. And then I definitely see some stuff here that we could just blow up and do some crazy stuff because uh, there is only one truck here. And I'm gonna say this, if anyone wants to sponsor or even give out free parts or something like this, if you want to give parts that would live on the channel forever, do give parts for this thing because this thing will never leave the channel. The only reason for this is it, it's my great grandfather's truck. There is no way in, <laughs> even if hell freezes over, even if hell freezes over, even if I become broke, even if I got to live in the damn thing and sell everything else off, there is no way this 72, my great grandfather's truck is leaving the family. No way in hell. And it's already got, I got a floor for it. I got to steal off that cab, the whole floor, because it's good. When I steal the whole floor and put it on this truck. Uh, I have a new front clip lined up for this. This thing's got a new frame. This thing's got, all the parts are here to go on it. It's just, I need to do it. <sighs> but this is the whole thing with the channel. If you, if, if you guys know of any sponsors and you guys can recognize any sponsors and send them my way, I would love that. I would really appreciate that. Even if I got to send some emails and stuff, I'm glad to communicate and figure out a plan and get something going. As well as, I, if anyone out there is a really good editor and is local and because a lot of people know who, where and who I am, it's not really a secret send me a good email because I'm willing to hire someone and pay a couple bucks to have a good editor. I just don't have the best internet. So I want, I prefer someone local because I can't, I can't send, it's like about three to four gigabytes of footage for one video sometimes. I can't send that over the internet and it's just not possible. As well as this channel is not a how-to channel. This channel is not a Oh look, where they go and do all of this stuff, do all this stuff, plan day, plan day. It's not for YouTube, this is for real life. YouTube is, the benefit is the extra little cherry on top compared to Schneider Classic and stuff. Because Schneider Classics lives in the real world, where YouTube world, it gets to see all the fun, cool stuff. And we're storytellers here. This is me telling you a story. And they tell some stories right now. This truck, my father, remembers because this is the old schneider company truck that they were using my grandmother was driving my father was a little kid in the seat next door because he skipped school because he was sick or something like that story they were sitting in this truck and um because they're a plumbing company had filled with toilets tanks whatever else and a toilet fell out the back and hit a car in the ma in the city like <laughs> just in Winnipeg there. And that's that's nuts. Like that's a story that doesn't get told. Or why, and this is why I don't know if I'm gonna use the front clip or fix this clip or the new fenders for sure. Gonna use the other fenders, maybe the hood. I wanna keep the grill because this grill and twisted bumper, another story that I can't get too much into depth here because we're gonna run out of time. Um, this truck, they're digging a hole for a septic tank out by Grand Beach, they were digging a hole. And as they were digging this hole, digging this hole, digging this hole, uh, the dirt f collapsed and the front of this truck started sliding into the hole to make sure it didn't, they didn't, so they didn't lose the truck in the hole, reached around with tobacco and grabbed it. And then had to chain it up to the backo and stuff and then dragged it over and back over to the surface to save this truck which I'm very glad they did. So that's a story. I kind of want to keep the grill and not use the other grill I have for the truck because that's a story. That's a bit of personality. 
it's just like this truck this truck has so much personality with being a five ton cab that's all custom done up new rockers and everything that you guys saw that plate being you know, that's that's just a hash job for now to be covered over for the safety couple things here and there we got to work on the doors still get them up so that type of stuff that are coming that's uh this is all custom made and i hope that stays in the family that, that would be a nice truck there's a lot of plans coming for that truck that truck's uh, my plan is to put a flat deck on it with tilt and everything and then onboard air and everything on it so it's a good old work truck this truck if we keep it if it sells it sells if we keep it plan on doing a whole resto mod on it and a tilt truck work truck for towing, towing and getting projects home and everything but story there's a story on this truck as well see that 67 a 67 sat up in up north in the paul and was in kind of a remote location and everything that came with that custom tinted back window non-stall but came with it because it was the the owner was the son of the custom make glass place up there because a lot of small shops live up there because they, they can't it's expensive to get stuff shipped in so you gotta you gotta do stuff out there and it was his owner floated around up there a bunch of times in between different companies and businesses and the truck sat for a couple of years and stuff and, and it sat i got it by driving the video is actually on my channel marcus schneider the video we took a 21 hour road trip we drove up there for like eight hours or so took us four hours to load it and then we drove back I, I forget the logistics but I, I knew the whole trip took about 21 hours or 23 hours and it took us four hours to load the damn thing and it's all on a lot of it's on video on marcus schneider i'll leave a link to that in the description below there's the horse back there history on this truck this was not easy to get we i pretty much got banned from u-haul from this truck <laughs> and that's a funny story in itself this had a box on the back i cut the box off it got we pulled it apart with two vehicles the i'm pretty sure the jeep was in the front and the truck was in the back and we ripped it off i don't fully remember um almost crushed a building i almost this job almost went from a good reputation with the bozier gm to a bad reputation um because it the box when i pulled it off and stuff it almost fell on the one storage building which is not good but the guy was a good owner and stuff i got this truck for a good deal uh and we brought it home this truck is probably the reason why i'm banned from u-haul and also like this truck sat behind a dealership for 30 years this truck has not seen the road in like 30 plus years no idea when it's seen the road last um this truck so it was like a shop or an auto shops delivery truck that they used and all the information on it is not so clear then it got put behind the shop and someone bought and it became a gm dealership the gm dealership didn't do anything with it uh didn't do anything with it it kept sitting sitting uh and then five years later uh melnick's melnick melnick family or whatever bought the gm dealership and he owned it for about 25 years i'm pretty sure i'm not entirely sure this is kind of knowledge i have what he's been giving me there's some horses sorry adhd i hop on thing the thing the thing um then the truck sat for 25 years and they were using it as storage when he first bought bought it, it came with the property it was parked there the whole time uh funny enough if you go back and watch the video i don't know if i got it on video or things but we the, the tires that's still air it's never been filled never been filled never been never been messed around with and stuff these tires were up to here in sand i have that on video i was crawling underneath here cutting with a with a uh, zip zip cutter or whatever else cutting the box off i was underneath it and then we, we never touched it with air the, the, all this air and stuff is from 30 years ago when it was parked uh same with the brake cylinder and match cylinder the steering columns good in it and everything uh 
most of it's all here the rad i do have a rad for it it didn't come with one and everything this truck is a good truck it's not behind there for about 30 years it was a uh, the story pulling it out was amazing we tied the silverado to the front and the jeep to the back or something or other and ripped it out as that and then it crushed the wheel dollies we were using which is why i might be banned from u-haul because we should have done that and uh partly u-haul's fault partly my fault a lot of the chain links and everything with the linkage on the u-haul was faulty and broken when we got it and i didn't realize that because it wasn't any of the stuff that you need to hook up it was the stuff that hooked its itself together and it broke on us while trying to do this which then broke other things that were hooked up to the truck and to my truck and this almost went this almost hit the back end of that so yeah we were pulling with that almost hit the back end of the truck and it was almost a really bad day of losing two trucks my step the one step because the dolly the dolly was on the two wheels and it slipped out and whatever that's the reason this is bent this is bent because the dolly was like that and then we had to i i remember i had to unhook everything jack up this with a farm all which is sketchy as hell and drag the dolly out the other side of this that's and then all of that's a lot of there's video in between that and stuff of me showing off the bottom of this and stuff nothing has changed since the time i've owned it that's a crazy story behind it we're a storytelling channel and there's a lot of stories to be told here and there's a lot of stuff being told here and there's a lot of custom made stuff being fabricated here like if i do keep the two ton it's going to get a resto mod of i want to i want to throw an ls and an allerson transmission in it and uh, an ls engine in it and resto mod the interior and do all new axles and brakes and everything for it this is why i'm saying we need a sponsor if anyone wants to sponsor us the email is in the description below or you can contact me personally like I, I would love to work with you at some companies as well as if anyone sponsors us, then I can pay for a camera guy and we can get more videos out. <clears throat> like I said before, we do have stuff on Instagram. If you see, if you do follow along, it's in the description below. The Instagram gets updated more than anything. The Instagram is updated after we do a job, like right after we do a job, same day and stuff is posted constantly unlike the horses the horses are uh whatever so please stay tuned to the channel please keep watching and subscribing and sharing to all your friends and everything because we got tons of stuff coming we got more stuff coming if like i said if you want to see it'll be in the description below the zombie body shop you'll see you'll see literally a picture of me and uh and jacob working on the shortened frame that's for the sema build which is nuts i can't i don't want to give too much away for it that's for tyler the zombie body shop to give away information on but we got tons of our own stuff and it's just gonna be nuts that Schneider Classics, this one individual right now, only an individual, is going to SEMA. So follow along. I am gonna videotape everything from SEMA. I may videotape the road trip there and everything. The road trip might go on Mark Schneider, but all the car stuff, the SEMA stuff, the event stuff, the and the truck itself will go on schneider classics you guys will see it here first i will i guarantee i promise you that that we will videotape everything from sema i might even buy another gopro for it because i've already bought in like eight batteries to go with the gopro so i don't have to wait between charges um yeah guys follow along so i hope this updates enough for you i feel like it's not enough there, there's so much information i know i'm missing but i hope you guys follow along and i hope you guys stay with this journey because like look i built this building literally in a month just before winter just during the start of covid 
just so we could build stuff through winter. So keep following along, keep keep on subscribing, keep on sharing, keep on liking, keep on commenting, because I love the comments. I love talking with all of you guys. You guys are some awesome, cool car guys. We're gonna see where this journey goes. And hopefully next time, like hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna start growing my beard back because I feel so naked without it.